So, I have had this video in mind for a couple of weeks now when I was on a vacation. And I can see that there's a lot of people out there that want to edit but don't have the ability to do so. Or just lack the experience in the editor. Which is why I will show you these life hacks to make your life easier when editing. I will make it as quick as possible because I hate long lasting tutorials. So let's get started. <music> One is really easy to do in an MC project, insert video track and insert an MC event and this can be used to put solids from your video effects tabs on top of other layers. Please bear in mind that not all these video effects will work on top of this, it has to be some sort of solid like BCC's snow or sparks or something and you can use these empty events instead of actual footage. One thing you could use the MC event for is putting transitions on top of it so that you can make a transition between a solid and basically nothing without putting an effect there, like that. Always remember to disable resample so that you avoid getting this weird blurry effect. Right click, switches to disable resample. I have made this transition, but it's sort of laggy when I use it in Sony Vegas. So I'll pre-render it by going to somewhere in the timeline and holding shift and pressing somewhere where there's not a layer with a video on top and it will mark this point. And I will just press Shift and B to pre-render it. And you will basically see it better up here. Also, if you have lag in Sony Vegas, you can go to this tab. It says good quarter for me. Maybe it should be at best half for you. So if you want less lag in the project, just put it to good and quarter. So when going into a transition, I can take use of two very good techniques. So the first thing to do is of course, make the transition. I'll put this to reflect so that you can see it on both sides and I will zoom out. And I will go a bunch of frames forward and I will make them go back to default. And one thing you can do is just type in one, but you can also just double click on this much easier. And if you want to make this fast fade, because when going out of a transition, always fast fade. And when going into slow fade, that's a really good reminder of that. Just hold left click mouse and just drag down on the two keyframes and you can adjust the fade on both of them simultaneously. And it's really easy to do. I use it all the time like this. Another thing is layered effects, because you can see up here that I used Line Uni from the Universe plugin to create this effect I used in the video you just saw. And I am also using Blurmo Curves to zoom in on the curve itself. And the way I'm doing that is organizing in what order my effect is compared to the others. For example, if I put it in front of the line, it basically won't work. Everything to the right overgoes the previous effect so that I can actually zoom in and out on this effect with no change. If you don't know this next one, you're seriously gonna miss out because you can just basically copy a whole video effects and pan and crop edit on one clip to another by just copying and pasting event attributes. It's completely similar to the other clip. It's so easy to use and really, really works when editing. When positioning text on your screen, don't use pan and crop. It's just gonna mess you up. Use placement. It's much easier to use. Also, when zooming in on something, don't rely on blurmo curves since it's gonna blur out the footage like this compared to this. The other one is pan and crop used to zoom in. If you wanna zoom in on some text or something on the screen, always use pan and crop and don't use blurmo curves. If you wanna turn off the motion blur on blurmo curves, just turn the shutter duration down. Also, if you didn't already know, you can add whole effects to an entire layer at once. This way, by dragging an effect onto the layer. Then you can make the layer a child of a layer above, for example, by putting this button. And if you give effects to this layer, it would also influence this layer. So this way you can move several objects at the same time. Really useful when creating lyrics. Use the sort of snippet tool down here to drag over everything. To select it and put switches at once if you would like to do that because it's much easier. If you want to take a screenshot of the current frame, use this save file button. And you can also freeze a clip by going to insert remove envelope and putting the velocity to zero. A really good thing I found out about the Sapphire plugin is that every effect you use from the plugin can be changed according to your own preference. It can't just only go down to 0 0.1. You can actually go down to 0 0.001 entirely and it could go all the way up to let's say 20 you can you can just change it yourself even 100 or 1000 okay 50 is the highest i've only found that this works with the sapphire i've tried all the other plugins but they don't seem to work this way but sapphire does and it's really nice make presets when creating an effect this is really useful for example at vignette i've made some presets to put bars on my videos also those it's really useful when using color correction like this one the way you do it is basically just putting 
the effect on top of the clip and just adjusting it a bit. Maybe changing the fade, making the size a little bigger, centering it, a little less tint, like that. And I can make this preset be named reshit or something. I'll press the file icon and it will be saved when I go to an effect and back to the other effect again. Never underestimate the transitions tab. It's really useful, especially if you have plugins installed. And the second life hack here, have all the plugins. Just look them all up on, I don't know, YouTube or something and just crack them all. It's so useful to have a really large quantity of effects at your disposal. You can also distort sounds you make by going into the video effects tab on an audio clip. Volume is used to raise the volume, of course. Vibrato is used to make that weird <laughs> sound effect. I think I just used it there. Just press add, go on to it, and a really easy thing to do is just make a curve like this. This will use be useful for pretty much any effect. You can also use the distortion sound, press add, and do this curve. Make it more extreme if you want more ear rapey sounds. Also, the way to make an echo sound is to use reverb. Just add it. It will already have the delay, but you can just make the decay time longer. For Christ's sake, use markers. It's so useful when organizing a project file. Basically, just press M on the keyboard. Also, S is split. Always save your project file every fifth minute, especially if you've just created a new effect. I've crashed so many times and lost hours of footage. It can also crash while rendering. I've tried this, as you can see on screen. Don't mess with the project file when it's rendering. If you lose some of your work, just open the desktop icon again, and it will ask you if you want the autosave or not. If it haven't saved all of it, just save the autosave for good measure, close the program down and do the same thing again and it might have also saved some more. If your project file gets laggy, I can recommend you to pre-render stuff like I did here. As you can see in my lyrics folder, you can see I've used multiple project files and I have rendered different versions of the, uh, the video to kind of line it up so that I don't lag as much when entering the project file. And if I crash, I don't lose as much progress. The way you do this is basically just go up to the top, mark the thing you want to pre-render, right click on top of it and render to new track. And when it's rendered, you can just press undo and it will be removed and you can go into open and open the pre-rendered version of it. My last two tips is to use the search feature when looking for effects. It's much easier. Also, don't underestimate presets. I can't tell you how many times I've went through and tried to make an effect from the bottom, but I will just go into the choose a preset and I would find multiple really cool already done effects. So that was basically it for these life hacks. If you have something to add, just leave it in the comment section. I think people will find it very helpful to look at these effects in that way. And I think I'll just end the video with